What's up guys? Steven at Rock Solid. Just gonna give you a little update video of what's going on in the shop. Uh, a lot of people that call in, they don't realize that it's just myself and Joey here most of the time during the day. We've got two part-time guys. Uh, both of them only put in, one puts in three hours a day and the other one puts in about two hours every other day. So that's our complete crew with everything you see going on, everything manufactured, everything made and sold, phones being answered, the website being built, uh, all the paperwork, everything, the, we do it all. So Joey was uh, kidding with me the other day. He said whenever we ought to make some type of post that has you know, pictures of the shipping department and pictures of the uh, production department or the you know customer service or something like that and just uh, put different pictures of ourselves on everything because we do everything so we like it like that because I think it helps that we don't have a lot of people that we have to manage so to say I say babysit but you guys that own shops you know what I mean if you have guys that come in here and you never have to tell them what to do, you just come in the door, just automatically go to work. And everybody here is like that. Myself and Joey, we, we only have to discuss things if it's something new, you know, some new ground that we're, we're crossing or something like that. But other than that, we both know what needs to be done day to day. Uh, Jacob the guy that is helping us with the roll cage manufacturing and stuff, his uh, company that he owns, XL Racing Components, that's what he does. He lives a couple miles from the shop, so it's really convenient, so he's helping us be able to offer customers that. He's the same way. He comes in here, and sometimes if we're busy, he won't even say, hey, or how's the day going or anything, he'll go straight over to his corner and start working on what needs to be done because he knows when he comes in. And the same thing with Mitchell, when he helps us, uh, or Mitchell Stewart's our other guy that's part-time, he gets off from his day job right up the street, comes down here and bends and notches tubing for the front kits. So all the front kits that you guys are buying, all those tubes and notches and stuff were done here in-house by Mitchell. So, we're a small crew, but we try to stay really efficient that way. You know, we don't have a big payroll to worry about because I think that stresses people out whenever they've got all these people on payroll and they have to make, they have to make X amount of profit per week to get the payroll. And if you got like, there's eight or nine cars in here right now and all those jobs you know we get progress payments and stuff like that but if you've got a huge payroll to have to worry about then you're constantly stressed about collecting money and stuff so we kind of let our website take care of that for us and kind of keep us going so these in-house jobs we don't have to push on customers for their money so much even though that shouldn't be an issue but i don't i don't like to have to say well i'm gonna need X amount of money or I'm not touching your car. I like to just go ahead and get started on work and then once I get so far, we'll get a progress payment or something. But just helps everything run smooth when you've got it going on like that. So I'm thankful for the team that I've got. You know, I, I don't know how I could have been where I am with this company without, especially without Joey. He's been a very, a very core person for the company. You know, whenever he came on, I was literally, it's all, it's, it's comical what I was doing for fixtures and different things because I had never been in manufacturing or anything like that. And he had, so he come from a background. So he was able to bring in, you know, so many good ideas and stuff for our fixtures for, you know, getting everything in a CAD model where we could replicate things or make modifications without having to write stuff in notebooks and stuff. When he came, I had everything wrote down in a notebook. Mitchell calls it the, the rock solid Bible. But uh, 
had everything wrote down in this notebook, all my measurements, angles, everything, and constantly had to look at the book all the time. And now, you know, there's fixtures for everything. So everything is perfect fitment every time, whenever it leaves. And it's just, it's, it's a really efficient way to do things. And I have Joey to thank for that. And he's helped our web sales, you know, skyrocket because we're able to make so much stuff with just very limited amount of people. And, uh, you know, Jacob, when he come on, he brought, you know, he's got a lot of nice stuff at his business that he does, the XL Racing Components. So the two manufacturing thing, you know, people ask for roll cages all the time. And, you know, we always just buy them from other companies if it's you know a cookie cutter 850 cage or something there's a lot of nice ones out there and we just buy them from other companies but a lot of people is like you know you should you should get your own going or whatever but you know we just didn't have a way to do it so now that jacob's on board with us he's brought that aspect to the business so just constantly adding great team members like that it just it makes the business go you know big steps forward so that's our goal it's just uh you know as we add more people to add you know good valuable people like that not just you know labor workers because i don't like having to babysit people and that's not how you grow the company is having to worry about your employees so let's walk around the shop for just a couple minutes and see what's going on i know i've talked way too much but uh, I never kind of tell, or I never say much of what's going on in the background of the business or on these YouTube videos. I try to give my employees, you know, as much praise as I can on social media. I handle all the social media stuff. If you're messaging us on Facebook or whatever, I'm the one you're talking to. So I try to build employees up, you know, tell them they're doing a good job. Uh, and they do the same, you know, for me or whatever. I mean, we try to keep it positive because whenever we're doing this, we're doing it because we're taking pride in what we're doing and we're proud of it. We're not doing it just for the, the money or, or whatever because we're definitely not getting rich doing this. We're just doing it because we like doing it. We're doing it because it's our own thing. It's our baby, so to say. So it's, uh, it's just fun. And as long as we're making enough to feed ourselves and make a decent living, then we're gonna keep doing it. So let's walk around the shop and look at what's going on for just a little bit. We got a Fox body here, getting a full turbo kit. I don't think I've put this one on video yet, but full turbo kit, fuel cell. We've been doing some sheet metal work on it. It already had the cage and stuff in it. Got all the cold stuff off of uh, Mike Young's Mustang, 14 Coyote, twin 64 millimeter precisions, full street car, but a stick shift. Uh, got black magic clutch, all the good stuff. He's wanting to get out there and get competitive uh, now that the stick shift stuff's getting so popular. Got a F-body combo tank going together for a online order. Rusty Emerson's over here. It's changed directions a couple times. And that's why we're not any further than what we are on it. But it's getting a custom radiator, fans, uh, changed directions on the intake snouts. And now it's getting twin LSA throttle bodies with twin cold pipes going into it. Just the look he, he wants in, uh, in the long run. So that's why we're, we're going with that. Demon Performance brought a Jeep, one of their California customers. This is supposedly going to be the fastest Jeep out there whenever they're done with it. We're doing a 25.6 chassis on it with a four 9 inch rear, four link. It's going to stay all wheel drive. We're going to do custom K member, just a lot of stuff on this thing. Shelton Franks Trans Am, TKM's got the motor getting it assembled so we'll get it back get it in the car get the last few things buttoned up and it'll be wrapped up 
OMG Boost, my wife's car. We got it up here for product development. A lot of the new F-body stuff that's coming out, we use her car for the development just because it's, it's there. So I've got it up here for that. The Grub Worm. Everybody knows who that is. Fastest GM stick car, 728 at 196 to the quarter, 475 at nearly 160 to the eighth. We're going to put a slip joint in the hot side just because they take the car apart a lot to check things. And it, the turbo sticks so far forward that if anything gets off when you put the headers on, as far as the alignment or anything, then it makes the hot side just a little bit off. And it's really hard to get clamps and stuff lined up. So we're going to put a slip joint in there to kind of help with that. So it don't have to be so dead on every single time. We updated the parachute clevis in the rear to one of our new styles with the quick release pin, and the push bar style where they can push the car a little bit easier. They've been pushing it with the other clevis and it's just not holding up. That's my original parachute mount that I made way before I went full time with this job. So it's done good, but Clevis just isn't designed to push the car. Joey Anthony's uh, my main man up here I, I was telling you about. This is his Rambler. It's a 67, I think. But it's gonna have air conditioning and everything, be full street car, stick shift, turbo 2J, It's going to be a really fun project. We had a couple days where we didn't need the lift. Uh, so he's getting the motor mounted up in there on the motor mounts with the aftermarket K-member and stuff that he's got for it. Back here, we got some production stuff going on. Always got production stuff going on. This is Mustang kits. fifth gen Camaro bumper supports which we ran out of this piece here holds a plastic welding gun and rides on a concrete wall with wheels this is a project we're doing for a company locally F body six point cage in stock Fox body a local guy getting an 850 cage Josh Burkhart's car, you've seen in the previous videos, we're doing 25.5, full turbo kit, fuel cell, a lot of stuff to it. There's the top for the Jeep. We've got to cut the top off because it's got a sunroof top on it. Jonathan Atkins Trans Am, we're going to do a full chassis on it with, uh, it's going to be all motor stick shift car. So this will be a slow build. He's not in a big hurry. He just wanted to get it down here and get it in the corner and we'll work on it when we get time. But anyway, that's your video update of what's going on. We're still loving it. We appreciate everybody that supports us. And we'll bring you another video soon.